we know that Jamaican soil is very fertile and one of the most fertile places in Manchester is New Forest. When driving through this community, a beautiful farm is presented on each side of the road. I have interviewed many farmers, but I've never interviewed a farmer who plants Callaloo. So today, for the first time, I will be featuring a Callaloo farmer, Mr. Dave Holness, here in beautiful, cool, cool Manchester in a community called New Forest. Now, New Forest is adjoining to Duff House in Manchester, which is predominantly a farming community. And New Forest is known for producing most of the island seasoning, such as thyme, escalion, but they do plant fruits such as watermelon and vegetables such as beetroots and cucumbers. All right, enough said. If you're interested in highlighting your farm on my program or even just sharing your farming story, my contact detail will be on this video and it will also be in the description of this video. Welcome back to the program. It's another farmer from the parish of Manchester. We're here again in beautiful New Forest and we're here with Mr. Dave. And he is the Kalalu farmer in the area. When we talk about Kalalu, I mean real Jamaican Kalalu. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm anemic, so I needed some Kalalu this morning. Mm -hmm. And somebody told me about Dave. But when I came and I saw his farm, I said, this is something that the world needs to see. Mm -hmm. And because on my program, I highlight a lot of farmers and I try to inspire young people. I want Dave to share with me how he started farming and why he chose Kalalu. Well, why I chose Kalalu? Well, me just fascinated with the idea and yeah. and me see a food, so me have an idea say the Kalalu I go out we sell and people go want to eat for people have to eat. And it's healthier. And it helped me financially also. So yes. When me leave school, me come see my father a farm. Yes. So me just grew up, get the knowledge from him. Yes. So me just continue. It's a family tradition. Yes. The farming, basically, New Forest area is a farming community. Yes. So we do well down here. Yes. Actually, yes. Actually, sow the seeds before you plant them. Yes. You make the seed. If you can look on the seed in the nursery. Yes, I see. It. Right. And you have a good market for. There was an interruption with the audio while interviewing Mr. Holness at this point, but I was asking him if he had a market for his Kalalu, and he said he sells most of his Kalalu to Grace Kennedy. And now we're going to head over to his cucumber farm before taking a walk through his beautiful Kalalu farm. And like all the other farmers, you don't have any problem with water. Like no, no. Down here they get the well, well, we have irrigation water, but yeah. we get the water every other day, so yeah. we're still thankful. But yeah. if we could get it every day, yeah. we'd have do much better. Right, right. Yeah, you understand? So sometimes we can put in the amount where we want to put in. Yes. So you yes. cannot hold it back, but we're still thankful. Of course. And give blessing to NIC. Yes. Yes, and they, they try their best. Yes. yes. Because I see even some other parts of St. Elizabeth too, they are trying to expand the irrigation in areas like Kamapen. Yes, yes, and, yes. And, and yes. I heard the Prime Minister, I hope he stick to his word, say that on the south side he's going to um, put in the irrigation water system on the south side so farmers and the south side yes, can also we, benefit. Yes, we the farmers on the south side, we don't really need like the financial. Just yes. provide us with the raw material, yes. especially the water. Yes. When we have the water, everything good. Yes, Mr. Yes. Prime Minister, yes. just the irrigation we want. This yes. side of St. Elizabeth. Yes. They don't worry about us down here. Yes. Just the water. Yes. Just give us the water and everything all right. Yes, man. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And, and what you have to say to young people and what you have to tell them about farming? Well... And how, how has it been for you in terms of taking care of your family and maintaining... Well, 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 it takes care of my family. Very financial, rewarding and... Mm -hmm. Back in the earlier days, people used to look down at farmers. Yes. They would never recognize farmers like that, like say. You understand? Yes, yes. But now it cannot change. Everybody gets more 
information and more up to date with the farming. So yes, farmers farming is the backbone of the country. Yes. So yes. without the farmers, you know, you know the country. Yes. The farmers. Yes. Move forward. Food. Yes. You can't mm -hmm. live without food. You can't live without food. There's one thing you can't live without water, water and food. food. Yes. So give us the water. We provide the food. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 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 And, yes. and um, even some people are. Um, know some young people would shy away from farming because of the, the, the um, dirty part of it but there is if there are other aspects to the farming because you have what they call hydroponics or aquaponics where some people plant it in the water even though I believe that the best way to get the most nutrients and minerals in the food is from the earth yes from the earth yes yes, yes from the earth but from um i'm just saying for those people who yes, you yes. know don't, don't want to get into the earth, there's that option mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. do something you know do something yes, yeah, yes do yeah. something yeah man me proud of what me i do you know yes. i me love it we yes. won't do it for nothing else yes no 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 we won't choose our next career yes. beside farming so yes. Young people they need to get involved. It might be a little bit expensive to start out, but from you, just source the financing and yes, man, and find piece of land. See, the next side, as you say, I get the water now, yes. so you, you know, more land available. Yes. But most of the people used to come here, yes. so you know, they all leave back, go back to the community for the water, so right. then more people have access to land yes. in the new first era yes. after. Those people get the water, right? So they might go back home and then, yeah, yeah so yeah. yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, man, mm. yeah, yeah, man. So, so like, Kalaloo now, how, how, how much per pound, how do you sell it? Well, <laughs> sometimes yes. when it drought on and it, you know, everything gets scarce, yes. you might send up the price yeah. and so forth. Like so the time, I heard the time went up to a thousand dollars. Right, and see, it's a tech time coming back, back down now, so to about yeah. five. So yeah. the price fluctuates based okay. on the, the, the climatical condition. Yes. So you have to work with that. Yeah. Okay. So we now have a fixed price. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm. And has any of your children ventured into farming? Well, no. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Not yet. Not so just yet. like you follow your father footsteps. Maybe mm. one day, who to tell, you know, well, one well, of them. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So when you you plant them um, rotation now. Yes, yes. But if that comes like three weeks ago, yes. that would have the people who are in there now, the abuse is to be old. Oh. But so, so it get kind of old, so we soon have almost yet for the processing now, I've got to replant. Oh, the front piece there? Yes. Oh, it's getting old? Yes, man. Oh. Everything have a duration and a lifespan in our day forever. The so this seedling. is the seedling now. So yes. when you see me, I cover them there and they say the preparation to plant some more. Right, you're mulching. Yeah, the mulching now for it. So you have to have to continue while you grow. Continue with the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. So you mulch the grass and then you, you plant and then you mulch or you mulch then you plant? Yeah, you mulch then you plant. It's okay. easier that way. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anybody who wants to see sometimes, yeah, I, I want to venture. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can You can ask it in some seeds. Right, you can. If you know what it is, really, a couple of trees. I see them coming up. Right, that's the reason. Yes. So that's the reason. So yeah, basically, me not cut that none at all. For me, I try to get the best seed right. possible. You yes, understand? yes. So that's and, the reason why me leave it there. And this color loo is our Jamaican color loo. Yes, then call this the breed cow tongue. Cow tongue. Yes. Cow tongue color loo. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, yes. Uh, so me know it as. Yes. Yes. That's mm. what I, I heard them call it too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the price is the red. Let me get a little bit of the, the, the red. The red the red. Yes one. man, I'm going to let you Just get like how you have the red pepper and the yellow pepper and yes. the, you know diverse in Kalalo production, you never know. Yeah. And we have to start to about nursery for this. Okay. So this are the seed. Yes. So you, like, you, you grow your own seeds. They grow my you own don't have seed. to purchase seed. You don't purchase the seed. But right. sometimes when you purchase the seed you get it mixed sometimes. Yes. One dip one like you have four different varieties. Yes. When yes. sometimes when you purchase the seed. So you understand you just grow your own seed. Yes. Uh, yes. You, you do your own seed. Okay. You, uh, you, do, you do your own seed. Yes. Sometimes you get change. Okay. So it, it come out of production or it get old. Oh, okay. When you see start seed, find right. the source of seed. Yes, yes. You, you understand? So yeah. still see a level. Yes. You understand? But at the same time now you know say your time. 
Yeah. Feet and because after replant. a while, of course, you know, it, we're not going to last forever. Yes. So every night after a while, it gets hard too? Yes, yes. And start seed. So when you start seed like this, this is a field and over probably one next two or three cutting. Yes. And then me um, abandon yes. and start over again. Okay. With this field. You understand? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So probably one next month when you come here, up here, young seedling, oh. you might see here. Yes. Yes. How so big is we, this color we're looking at? About more than a year. About more than a year, because it's about, about no. 13 square, about a year and three square. Wow. Yes. That's about a lot a of color loo. Yes, about a year and three square. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. It's lovely to see the lovely green mm -hmm. color loo, man. Yes, I man. need some color loo, as I said, because I'm anemic. Yes. So I just want. Oh, yeah. to... yeah, I'll yes. I'll go back. I'll go back with you now. Yes. yes. Make your own honest bread. Yes, man. And you can eat from it the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell the kids them. Yes. Last school, university. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you have kids in university now? They graduate, man. It's where they graduate. Wow. And is yeah. this, this farm send yes, them? The farm, the farm. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, yeah. They, what are they now? What are they doing now? None of them work with the government, I want to work with the Andre. Oh, good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. See the eye So this is a, is your, oh, is your nephew, this young two and a farm? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. This is your little nephew and he, you're bringing him up in the farming, you know? Yes, yes. Hey, well. That's more inspiring. Yes. Yeah. Look. Look. Mm -hmm. This looks like a sea of color, look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. From my farm to you. All right. <laughs> so, thank you very yeah. much. Okay. Chad, do you want to come in, Eddie? Yeah, I will attire. You know what? And I see him too, we are talking about. The farm. Yes. Thank you so, so much for watching. And thanks for making it Shan Zen Zen Jamaican vibes. Until next time, walk good and look out for your neighbor.